So what is up guys this is Tiro back with another video on the Redmi Note 5 Pro today and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest Siberia OS based on Android Pie on the Redmi Note 5 Pro and this is the 6th July 2019 build of the Siberia OS version 2.7 and as you can see from here that we have the Siberia logo up top in the about section and it is based on Android Pie of course and the security patch is of latest July 5th 2019 and here is the baseband and stock kernel is pure CAF kernel. I flashed this ROM with micro G apps and this is totally based on Pi firmware. So if you are not on Pi firmware, just follow this video. But instead of pixel experience, just flash this ROM and G apps. Now let me just show you like how is the ROM. We have the like launcher launcher by default over here, which shows the weather and stuff up top over here and the dates of course. And you can swipe down anywhere on the home screen to get to the quick settings panel. You can swipe to the left to get the Google Now cards. This is totally black because of the wallpaper. I'm using a Poco wallpaper over here. And if you double tap on the home screen, you can like the device can go to sleep as you can see. And even the fingerprint scanner speed is pretty fine. As you can see, I'm unlocking the phone with the fingerprint scanner and it is pretty fast. And if you go into the launcher settings, here is how the settings panel looks like. If you go into gestures, if you go into double tap, you can just choose it to be sleep so that like it goes to sleep wherever you double tap on the home screen be it anywhere and the widgets and stuff are working fine too over here that is pretty cool and over here google pay is working right out of the box so you don't need to worry about google pay either and we have the hd logo instead of vault -E over here so the vault -E calling is actually working fine and we also have the call recording option and stuff like by default you do not need to worry and over here the stock camera is the MIUI camera and you can install Google cameras too like if you want to because there is camera to API built in over here like pre-enabled and also the nightlight and stuff is working fine over here as you can see and if I go into the settings and the ROM is really really smooth over here no issues whatsoever while daily driving I could find and over here in we have the live display option too if you want to use like the color calibration modes and stuff and always on display is there if you want to use it and we have bunch of fonts of course over here as you can see we have google sense and stuff lot of fonts option to choose from so you can choose whatever you want by default it is set to roboto and the like stock system ui theme you can change it to light dark black siberia or automatic based by wallpaper and you can change the accent colors to over here as you can see we have bunch of options and we have the quick setting toggle style animation like not the animation quick setting toggle styles i mean and you can choose from like these many options by default it looks like this pretty simplistic but you can change it to all these options and you can change the switch appearance to one plus material design too or like default so this is how the like switches looks like and inside cybedia settings we have all the customizations but before i show you that let me show you the battery settings as you can see it looks really cool and the battery life over here i would say is pretty fine the battery life is pretty great and as you can see i have like used like 20 percent of battery and it got me around two hours of seven minutes of screen on time so you can definitely expect eight to nine hours of screen on time pretty easily on this rom you can just tap over here to see like all the usage over here so i would say the battery life is awesome over here no issues whatsoever regarding the battery life and if you go into sound settings we have the Mi Audio Enhancer as you can see. You can choose from these many options from the like Mi Audio Direct, and this works super fine. The sound output via the headphone jack and Bluetooth as well is working pretty fine. Let me go back inside security and inside lock screen preference. We have the automatic unlock device with the face unlock. Like whenever it directs your face, it's gonna unlock your device automatically. So that is really great. And if I just go into Cybedia settings, here is like all the customizations of the UI. We have system panels lock screen battery settings gestures and like normal about siberia and this is the build by rashid of course the official build and if you're going to like system we have the general tweaks you can change the screen of animation like to crt or scale we have the recent changing option the recent panel changing option as you can see this is how it looks like by default i don't like one thing that it is not curved but it's okay we have the pi reasons over here of course and you can enable the screen stabilization and we have the whole ui animation changing option over here as you can see we have the list view and scrolling animation the toast animations and you can change whatever ui animation you want 
all right so in the customizations you can go into buttons then power menu and go to this at like enable this advanced restart then it's this advanced reboot option will appear and you can directly reboot to recovery or fast boot or whatever you want and we have the privacy and power management over here if you go into sound settings you can like change this audio panel things you can enable voice so that like it comes over here as you can see we have the media and voice and you can expand the volume panel too just like this so this is pretty cool i would say let me just go back we have the gaming mode too over here as you can see enable gaming mode features block notifications etc options are there regarding gaming mode and yes you can play pubg at hd and high settings i think and if you go into the dialer we have the vibrate on connect and like vibrate on call waiting and stuff like that and if you go to panels we have the status bar options from here you have the status bar items you can disable the side media logo of course and you can enable the headset bluetooth etc icons from here and this like notification ticker is there we have the brightness control too so you can just like swipe on the status bar to adjust the brightness however you want so this feature i really really like over here and you can enable network traffic and vaulty icon or the hd icon is there roaming indicator is there and you can enable also the 4g icon we have the normal navigation bar and if you go into over here you can invert the layout as you can see my back button is to the right side so that is how it is and we have also the smart bar so you can change the navigation mode to default smart bar or fling you can change the height of the navigation bar too you can enable this pixel animation and pulse too over here and if you go to stock so we have the like normal swipe up home button option it just works fine over here as you can see let me just go back and also we have the notification customizations from here you can disable the heads up option and quick pull down and smart pull down both are there we can have the opacity control of the notification panel vibrate on toggle touch is there and animation styles are there flip and rotate for the quick selling toggles and custom header image you can enable it too let me just go back we have the like lock screen customization now we have the fingerprint error vibration lock screen charging info is there charging animation is there which is the pixel like animation and we have the show on lock screen weather stuff over here but one thing again i miss is there is no like always use fingerprint scanner to unlock the phone so even if you restart your phone you have to enter your pin once every time you reboot there is no always unlock or force unlock with fingerprint scanner mode and inside battery settings we have the battery charging light you can enable it to like in do not disturb and we have the q android q style battery logo up top over here as you can see i have set it to q and this is how it looks like let me just go back we have the show battery percentage near like the icon to the left or to the right you can choose it from here and this is really cool feature i would say in my opinion and let me just go back and if you go into gestures we have the swipe to screenshot option so this was broken in latest havoc ways it was taking like weird small like wide screenshots but right now it is like pretty fine over here in the Siberia OS so that is really good that the three finger screenshot gesture is working fine and it does not scroll your screen and over here we have the edge gestures this works super fine this is the normal like edge navigation gestures it does the animations and stuff like MIUI so that is really good and we have the navigation normal navigation gesture where you have to swipe up to go back from the left or right side double tap to slip on the status bar and lock screen both are there as you can see it works fine no issues whatsoever and screen of power button torch is there over here as you can see long press for like toggling torch is there so that is all regarding the customization i would say the rom is really really smooth and here is the android code of this rom the cyber os was pretty good earlier and it is already like pretty dope rom i would say and it is really really convenient for me the only thing that i miss i would say over here is that like there is no always unlock with fingerprint scanner even if i reboot my phone i can't like unlock the phone with the fingerprint scanner i have to enter the pin once so that is one bummer but yeah let me just open some of the apps and show you guys the app open up speeds and the ram management over here let's open file explorer facebook twitter play store now youtube let's open instagram now let's open all the apps from memory facebook twitter play store youtube instagram so as you can see all the apps like opens pretty fast over here no issues whatsoever 
but the animations are pretty normal and it looks really good with the android pie animations and the ram management too as you can see is pretty dope all the app stays in memory no issues whatsoever although i would say i do feel it is a tad bit slower while opening apps when compared to other roms maybe like i don't know i was using the redmi note 7 pro maybe that's why i feel that it is a little bit like slower while opening apps but yeah this is pretty good the ram management is really good there is like all the apps are in memory so no issues whatsoever regarding memory management over here and you can switch between apps of course like this and if you go into system it also has the system updater over here so that you can check for updates whenever you want so that is pretty much it guys regarding the Siberia OS on the Redmi Note 5 Pro built by Rashid this is the version 2.7 and the July 2019 build so that is pretty much it guys thank you so much for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today I'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now